And just like that, everybody, we're back discussing the new Fortnite killer. First of all, he was supposed to be Apex Legends. Now we're back many, many months, actually, well, a lot longer than that time later. And Call of Duty now announcing, finally, their own Warzone Battle Royale. It's going to be a separate game as well, guys. We talked about leaks about this several months ago, and those leaks now come true tomorrow. I'm sure we'll be back here more to break down gameplay and such for you guys in the future. As of right now, only leaks, but the countdown timer has been added to the in-game client. And more announcements from people like Slasher as well as Intel Red it's out there. I will link down below for all of you guys. It is true. This new battle royale could be the next big thing. Now, albeit I'm going to be, yes, I'm going to be hesitant at first because of how Blackout did. And will this be the Fortnite killer? I don't know. Will Valorant kill Counter-Strike and Overwatch? I don't know. Probably not. So can I say the same here? Maybe, uh, especially with how Blackout went. Let's not remember, guys. Blackout, yes, albeit was tied to Black Ops 4, but especially initial launch, it was a failure. Yeah, it might be fun to watch now and every every now and again for a few people like Optic or former Optic Teep. Besides him, though, I don't really enjoy Blackout. This game could be much better, especially because it'll be separate from the Call of Duty franchise. It will not have to change year in and year out. And with it now being announced as free to play and cross platform, that makes it like a Fortnite, but a, just a different layout, right? A completely different layout. It's not going to be near as cartoonish, near as childish, and supposedly a bigger map as well. This is Fortnite, but completely different, yet somewhat similar. We talked about a long time ago as well, the amount of Easter eggs, the side game modes, all the things you can do off this map or in this map as well, kind of, uh, you know, to either get yourself back to life or, of course, earn new weapons, earn cash as well. We talked about in a previous video months ago, a lot of those rumors and those leaks supposedly true. So if you guys want to watch past Jake. I will link that video down below. But will this be the Fortnite killer? No. I think a lot of people want to hype it up as it could be, which it still could be. But will it be I don't know. We have a lot to wait out to see actually how this map does. Alongside that, guys, up to 150 players as of right now for solos, duos, and trios. 150. When Blackout was first announced, they were struggling to actually get 60 to 70 players. So they one up themselves and say, let's double that, make it free and cross-platform. The hype around this... It, it's pretty real. And especially because we actually have a game to be announced sometime soon. Unlike Valorant, where we've only seen a few individual player uh, gameplay trailers, individual rounds done by teams out there who got early access. Yes, it will be coming this summer, but alongside this, this will actually be coming out tomorrow. We will know how Warzone apparently does do. I think it certainly has the potential, right? Anytime you go free to play and cross platform, you're backed by a large franchise like Call of Duty, but you will be separate. So you don't have to even own Call of Duty guys to play this game. This is going to be potentially huge. I hope and I cross my fingers they can actually make this work. And very lastly, as well as we talk about the competitive side of things, yes, this could be a Fortnite killer, especially given the current state of Fortnite. Numbers have been dwindling ever since, you know, last year, and for good reason. Alongside that, the current aim assist debate. We'll see how Call of Duty Warzone handles their aim assist between PC and controller players. Even more importantly, when it comes to the actual competitive side of things, we've seen streamers and content creators step away from Fortnite due to how sweaty it has become. And no World Cup 2 announcement. Recent rumors, by the way, say that Fortnite World Cup 2 has been delayed and not announced because of the coronavirus. If we do not see a Fortnite World Cup 2 this year, all that massive flooding of tens of millions of dollars, it leaves plenty of room for a brand new battle royale to take over. And you know, PUBG, kind of a, a thing of the past in terms of a casual player base. Of course, PUBG Mobile is doing just fine. Apex Legends doing its own thing. They got, you know, a five a five million dollar global cup happening this year. Fortnite is still probably you know, obviously by many eyes out there the number one. Could Warzone compete with that? It's going to be a long stretch, a lot of things to do, but certainly when it comes time for the initial things we have seen so far, all the hints, all the leaks, the overall basic gameplay of a gigantic map, 150 players, plenty of ways to get back into the game, uh, earn cash, earn all these little side things as well, and on top of that being free to play, certainly it has to be a contender as of right now. We will see how it plays out though tomorrow. I am super, super excited. I'm not going to call it the Fortnite killer, just like I don't think Valorant's going to kill anything as of right now, but it could be in the future. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy breaking down esports gaming news every single day, all day long. As per usual, my DMs are always open. Nan nan, ya ya, bye bye. <laughs>